We begin in Galleon where Wilson Frankhouse is doing some yard work. He plows two defenders, somehow keeps his balance, and dives for the score as the Tigers finish the regular season with a big dub over Lucas. And just what a physical athletic play there, Effie. And I think sometimes when you can, some athletes can just smell the score. You know what I mean? They just want extra yards and they refuse to go down. And, and that's a special trait that not all athletes have. And, and he's a good one. He actually went horizontal there right. and somehow was able to land on his feet and then dive into the end zone, which pretty much put the game away as Galleon defeated Lucas 24 to 13. Staying in Crawford County, where quarterback from Winford, Dustin Brady, is going to take to the air to Lucas Hackworth, who says, get off me, to the defender, 63 yards to the house. And like we said with Dustin Brady, really good player over there, Winford, Kurt, but Hackworth, one of the main reasons why he's putting up so many yards. Yeah, sometimes you just got to rely on your athletes to go make a play and I right. think in that situation right there that's just the kid going up and, and, and taking a ball away from a defensive back a real nice job tough loss there for Winford against Carey the finish at four and two on the year but their two losses to Crawford who was a number two seed northern 10 champions and then Carey who's going to be in their division six bracket a tough out now to our game of the week for the Firelands Championship. Eagles with some trickery. Merrick Key takes the toss and throws to wide open Trevor Schaefer. That sets up Moreauville's only score of the night as St. Paul, however, wins it and creates a three-way split of the Firelands. But who doesn't love trickery, Effie? Yeah, I, I am a big fan of the dual option, any kind of dual option where a guy could run or pass. And, you know, Merrick Key really, you know, and, and the left-handed throws always are – interesting to me it just doesn't seem like she'd be able to throw that far but he, he made a great throw he made a great catch and it ended up being a key play in that game and guess what Winford fans you get another nominee Brady rolls right and throws to Caden Blair who avoids one tackle and trots into the end zone now this may look like a normal t uh, touchdown reception to most of you folks but let's take this again in slow motion Blair's momentum actually taking him to the opposite direction away from the ball but he's able to reach back and make the catch then spin away from a defender for six so a, a little bit of a tougher play there but he gets it done finally we head to Arlen Field Brock Hill throws it up to University of Pittsburgh commit Avion Gross makes the catch down the sideline avoids the tackler and he's off to the races to the one dives in and he scores as the Tigers head into the postseason with a little bit of momentum, Effie. Yeah, you know, and this was an interesting play because it was one of those plays where there wasn't a whole lot of checking. They just, Brock Hill dropped back. He made a throw. He was confident. And up until this point, the Tigers were really struggling offensively. They hadn't moved the ball. Uh, and that play right there, to me, is what propelled them to the win. So that was a big play by a big-time player. A pretty good week for Avion Gross. Then. Definitely. Yeah, he, he yeah, committing to the University of Pittsburgh. It kind of bums me out since I'm a Mountaineer fan, and that's our hated rival, <laughs> kind of like Michigan and Ohio State, but we'll, we'll talk about that some other time. <laughs> Anywho, the top five plays of the week brought to you by Spirion Mid-Ohio.